Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-November 2020 general love reading. This is your girl mermaid scales tarot. Sagittarius, whenever you're guided to watch this video, I hope that you receive the love and light that I'm sending you at this time. Now, first off, and above all else, happy birthday to my beautiful Sagittarians that are turning a whole new year in the month of November. I wish you a year of love, luck, prosperity, and above all, happiness. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Sagittarius. This will not resonate with every Sagittarius that watches this video. And not every message in this video may be for you. Please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. And please don't try to fit anything that is not your situation. If this reading is not for you, Sagittarius, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Sagittarius. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Sagittarius and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. You may feel like during this video, I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed, and that's okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles as I'm providing this reading. Finally, before I get started in the reading, I want to say that this is your last chance to enter for my 200k giveaway celebrating the fact that I've reached 200,000 subscribers. I can hardly believe it. It's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support of myself and the channel, and I want to give back to you. So I'm giving away to some lucky subscribers, tarot decks, crystal sets, candles, all that good stuff. If you're interested in entering the 200k giveaway, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there, because I'm selecting the winners on November 15th, and this is your last chance. Alright Sagittarius, let's get started. I just heard like a cha-ching from a cash register. I don't know if this person or someone has come into some money. You may very soon, Sagittarius. Small message for someone. I don't know why I heard that. Or maybe someone felt, feels like they found the one. <laughs> All right, let's get started. You could work with this person as well. Let's get started. So Sagittarius, I'm going to be connecting to an energy that's in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm going to ask how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, what they like about the connection they have with you and what they don't like about it. Oh my god, okay. Wow. All oh, right, Sagittarius. Interesting. You are not someone to waste someone's time, and you're not looking to be, have your time wasted, and someone's making that, or feeling that very, very strongly here. With the Five of Cups reversed, Scorpio energy, you could have Scorpio in your chart, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, someone feels as if they're ready to make up something to you, Sagittarius, or they feel that there is some sort of missed opportunity that you may have felt from this person, they have felt from you. Something that you guys are healing together though. They want to put the time and energy and love into this because they think of you as the sun. You could have Leo in your chart, could be connected to a Leo. But really Sagittarius, I feel as if someone wants to express either how sorry they are or They're seeing that what this is between the two of you is something that you two can stay strong with, e like with each other and that you can lean on each other when things go wrong. I don't know, Sagittarius. I feel as if someone has gone through something pretty heavy recently outside of the connection between the two of you, and you've done a lot for them in this connection. 
also with this five of cups in reverse, um, they could have left a relationship. They could have left um, some sort of connection where they had their heart broken. And then they met you and you were the person to heal that broken heart, to bring that light back into their lives. They have a lot of feelings for you. Let's keep going though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you say what's on your mind with no problem and they love that. And again, you're not anyone to waste someone's time. Interesting. They want, wow. Um, so I'm recording this on 11-11 and I just got the four of wands, which is the card of 11-11. Um, I don't know, during this reading or maybe soon after this reading, you're going to hear from this person. They're going to text you. They're going to ask what you're doing. But really, Sagittarius, their end goal is having the four of wands with you. And they don't have that yet. Maybe you guys have just recently started dating, started talking. But already they can tell that this is something that is going to make them very happy. You guys make each other laugh. You guys have a lot of inside jokes. Or there's been a commercial that has come on TV that you guys both found really funny. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but I don't know. Wow. All right. Sagittarius. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Virgo just had this at the bottom of their deck. So some of you could have Virgo on your chart. You could be connected to a Virgo. If so, watch the Virgo reading. They're making messages for you there. But yeah, I feel that this was in the past within their lives, Sagittarius. Um, I feel as if both of you have been pretty disappointed in love. You've dealt with people who you felt have wasted your time or you've dealt with people who just wanted to always like, I don't know, pick a fight with you or just have something to say, take offense to something you never met offense with. Um, I'm also feeling, Sagittarius, that there's people around you that I feel are jealous of a connection that you're having currently. This could be someone's ex. This could be your ex. But it's as if they don't want you to have this, this connection with this separate person here. I don't know why I'm picking up on this other energy. Someone could be into martial arts, fighting. Um, boxing, wrestling, they could have done that um, when they went to school. Sorry, that was such a random message, but yeah, Sagittarius, you're done with the arguments, you're done with the pettiness, you're done with the fights, you're done with the duds, the people who have disappointed you, the people who you've just felt were a waste. And even so, Sagittarius, for others of you, I feel as if Someone's going through a lot of things in their life and you're the only person in their life that makes them feel happy, makes them feel loved, makes them feel appreciated. And they love having you around. But I, again, like I don't know if someone has like a baby mama or a baby daddy that just tries to ring them back into a connection, ring them back into a situation. It could be you too, Sagittarius, but... Um, it's not working. It's not working and it's actually making someone kind of pissed off. But how they feel about you. Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy. Yeah, they feel as if... They may have wondered why something didn't work out with someone else. They may have felt kind of sad about it, down about it. You know, both of you... Did, like experience disappointments in love, I feel. But meeting you and having this connection with you, you're healing that energy. You're healing their broken heart. You're healing that sadness within them. This connection has healed something within them where they don't have to just keep on focusing on what went wrong, but really start to focus on the connection that's in front of them between the two of you. Someone could be wearing black right now. Um, I'm seeing a black leather jacket that someone could own as well. But they're seeing that by meeting you, something's turning around in their life. 
I want to clarify this. What is the Five of Cups doing and how they feel about Sagittarius here? The Sun. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's Sagittarius. You really are the light in their lives. You really have shown them that. Not everyone is out to get them. Not everyone is, I don't know, with that cash register I heard. Um, again, someone could have a lot of money and someone feels as if someone is out to get their money or to use them for their money. Um, or it's like, I don't know why I'm picking up that you're working with someone here. Because I'm not seeing a lot of pentacles, but I feel as if you guys see each other on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it is you work with them or you have a project you're doing with them. And just like the more they're around you, the more they feel happy. Like when they see you walking through the door or see you go into their like inbox to send them a message, they just smile. They smile when they think of you. And again, like they're not even worried about the past anymore. What didn't happen in the past for them? Who hurt them in the past? Because their focus is laser pointed at you, Sagittarius. Yeah, death, Scorpio energy, big time here at the bottom of the deck. Um, there is some huge healing and transformation that happened within them because of you. I don't know, I, I, I have to say this, someone could have been mourning um, the loss of someone in their lives and I'm so sorry if, for whoever that resonates with. And someone's been there for that person through that time, through that transition, through that transformation. But others of you, I gotta say that you have helped them transform out of this dark time, Sagittarius. And I almost feel for a very small amount of you, there's someone that wants to reconnect with you to heal like what has happened between the two of you because they miss you, because you made them happiest out of anyone else, period, with the five of wands in the back. You could have met in the summertime as well, June, July, August. What they think about you, Sagittarius, the sun, the happiest card in the deck. I feel soulmate energy here. They think of you that way, whether you feel that way or not. I mean, my goodness, they, first of all, the first time they saw you, they were in awe. I don't know. They, there's, you could be very physically attractive, but there is just some sort of chemistry, some sort of laser beam focus. Why am I always saying that with your reading right now? Um, <laughs> but man, it was just like a switch went on. They definitely look at your pictures. They have some of their, um, your pictures saved on their phone. I don't know if you sent this person very sexy pictures, some nudes perhaps. Um, they also used to like to FaceTime you when they were in bed. I don't know, and some things would lead to the next, right, on FaceTime or video chat in some way. But they really feel like they've found their match, that with you, you're their one. You guys could come from um, two different cultures. You guys could be of two different ethnicities, perhaps. But man, Sagittarius, when they think of you, it's all good. They don't have one bad thing to say about you. Maybe you guys have been on vacation with each other as well. Or been on a holiday with each other before. But man, it was like from the first time they saw you, they knew that there was something special about you. Something rare about you. Someone could have bangs as well. What they like the most about you, Sagittarius. Eight of Cups energy, Pisces energy. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart. What I feel about this is that you go with your heart, you go with your feelings. You definitely aren't like super emotional per se, but you can't help but 
pursue what's going on in your heart or to follow your heart follow your intuition as well some of you are intuitive very intuitive and you go with your gut feelings about things and you're not afraid to go for your gut feelings about things you don't second guess yourself if you feel some type of way you move forward with it and that's where i was feeling in the beginning of the reading where you don't waste people's time right And with the Eight of Cups of what they like the most about you, if you're not feeling something, you're not going to give any part of you. It's either all or nothing with you. And they recognize that. So they know you. it's like you're, you know, they don't ever have to worry if there's something up with you or if that there's something you're hiding or something that they can't trust about you. It's all there. You make it very apparent if there's something you're unhappy with. Someone could have braids in their hair or like, like, some, like French braid their hair for someone. I want to go ahead and see and clarify the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? If someone likes to decorate their braids. The Empress. Oh, yeah. Sagittarius. I mean, again, physically very, very attractive in this person's eyes. Someone may work in front of the camera a lot. Um, I don't know if someone is like a YouTube content creator or a model or is somewhere in the public eye. Um, newscasting, I'm kind of feeling for someone out there, or journalism in a way. Or you're just, there's just this, this emotional pull towards you, Sagittarius, this intuitive pull that they feel for you. Some of them almost feel like they're lucky to have found you or that you are, they've had a connection with you because they really feel like, why choose me out of all the options? Like almost that you're out of their league in some way. But you go for what's your prosperity and your abundance of what will give you that. And if someone shows the first sign of not giving you that, you're out. They appreciate your honesty, your emotional honesty. Also, I gotta say, um, and this isn't for everyone, right? There may be a pregnancy that someone's going to find out about. Okay? Not for everyone. But yeah, talking about your feelings, you're very open with it. Knight of Swords. The first thing you feel like you want to talk about, you'll approach them with it. You'll stand toe to toe. And there's just, yeah, no second guessing here. And it's no doubt about what you can give into this, Sagittarius. They know you can give your all. They know you could give love, devotion, care, loyalty, respect. And that's what you deserve in return, too. They highly respect you. They know you're not the one to be played with. They know you're not the one to, you know, fool at all. There's some sort of respect that they have for you all the way. Someone's mother likes you, or a maternal figure in their life likes you a lot. But you go after your dreams, you go after your anything that you want and you desire and that your heart feels pulled towards, you go after it and you make it happen. And that's very sexy in their eyes as well. But what they don't like about you, Ada Wands energy, Sagittarius energy. Some of you could even have Venus in Sagittarius, I'm feeling. But yeah, I feel Sagittarius that they find you a bit distracted at times or that there could be a lack of communication that is going on right now for some reason. Not that it's always been that way, but right now. Or others of you, if it's not so much what's going on right now is the lack of communication. It's for the fact that this hasn't gotten to where they really want it to be between the two of you. <clears throat> Someone could have like a raspy voice, <laughs> a very sexy raspy voice, or someone hasn't fully talked about or explained their full desire with you, Sagittarius, of where they can see this going and they can see this going places with you. But hope you feel the same. Also with this, you could be at a distance from each other. 
a long distance connection. You could have met online through dating apps and it's like they can't see you very often. They only see you through the phone or they can only talk to you through the phone or through social media or something like that as well. And someone's growing out their hair. They haven't cut it since quarantine happened is what I'm hearing. What they like the most about this connection, Ace of Swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I mean, again, this is just reiterating the fact that you speak your mind, you speak your heart. I feel as if you guys were the first to pursue. You're definitely the first to flirt, first to act. And that's what they find very attractive as well. You're not afraid to speak your truth. You're not afraid to speak your feelings and what it is that you want from this. You also have a way, Sagittarius, of bringing out the truth within them. Again, because you feel things intuitively with this person, really with everyone, especially if you have water in your chart. But more so, they feel like they can tell you things that they haven't told anyone else. Things that they're going through. Things that, you know, I don't know. If, I feel as if, for some reason, speaking so openly has been a block for them in their lives until they met you. And I feel as if you put them in the space, Sagittarius, where they feel comfortable to do so. And now it's like, okay, how far can I go with this? What I need to say something more. I do feel as if this person wants to have a relationship with you, a commitment with you. And with this Four of Wands energy of what they don't like about the commitment is that it's not there yet. Or it's something where they want to take this to the next level and are unsure about how you're feeling about the situation. Do you feel the same soulmate energy that they feel for you? They want prosperity with you. They want abundance with you. They have a lot of love for you. I'm hearing Hawaii. I don't know if that will resonate with anyone. Don't know if you live in Hawaii, they're from Hawaii. It's a very small message for a very few amount of you. But it almost makes them feel, I don't know, almost that they weren't sure if they ever wanted a commitment, committed relationship or anything presently within their time, within their life right now. And then they've met you and it's like, damn, you know what? Maybe I am starting to think of this way with Sagittarius. And someone could part their hair to the side as well. Highest hopes, ten of wands. That this will work. They will make this work. Sagittarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with another Sagittarius even. But that they want to put the work in, the time in, the commitment in. Even if it gets rough. Even if there's bumps in the roads. Even if there's some things that they may need to work on internally. They're wanting to do the work. They're going to push it out. Fight it out. But also, you know what? Drop the burdens of other people or other things that do not serve them so they can be there for you, Sagittarius. So they can show you that you are someone that they want this with. A priority. And dump everything else that doesn't matter. Other people even. I mean, in that sense, like exes that still try to cling on. I feel that way with some of you. Or friends or family members that have something to say that's none of their business. I almost feel like someone doesn't get along with someone's sibling in a way. But they really want to put the work in and make this work Sagittarius. But their deepest fear is four of swords, Libra energy, putting the towel in, done. Just laying it to rest. It's not going to work. It's not going to get anywhere. Even someone's afraid of someone else pushing them out, not letting them in, not fully, you know, opening up. Um, I just have to say this, someone can have very pointy nipples I'm picking up on. That could just be confirmation for someone, male or female, they're there. 
and it can definitely be seen through a shirt if they're not wearing anything like a uh, a tank top, a wife beater, or like a bra under it. Anyway, but yeah, complete silence. Someone doesn't want to put the effort or the time in. Someone feels like it's a waste of time, so they're not going to act. Silence, really. For the likely outcome of this situation, Sagittarius, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading to see what they're likely to do next, what they want from you, and what they're going to act on. But before we go, um, I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angels deck as always, and I'm going to ask Spirit to further clarify their feelings for you and to make apparent anything that they feel that they haven't said to you yet. Getting to know each other. Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel as if they still want to know more, or maybe they feel like before you fully open up or what, whoever needs to open up, there's just more that someone has to feel out. Again, with the friends thing, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So maybe you guys met as friends and you started off as friends, but feelings kind of grew from there, really. And others of you, I feel that it was just the support you gave for them has really made them know that this is something that is profound. But really... I do feel for some, they do see hope in this. They see happiness with you. But there's still some things they're feeling out and figuring out before they fully make their first move. And I think they're going to come to a decision very, very soon. Because the more they spend time with you, the more they get to know you, the more they want you. I'm seeing the letter M. Don't know if that will resonate with anyone. First, middle, last, initial perhaps. But there's something there. They know it and they feel it and hope you feel the same. But to see what they're likely next to do, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just head over to um, the description box by opening it and you'll get the link to Vimeo. If this is where we depart, Sagittarius, I really hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know. Let me know if you gained insight and clarity in regards to what's going on. Drop a comment. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I love you Sagittarius very much and I'll see you next time. Take care Sagittarius.